Welcome back to Citizen Pew, and today I'm at the range and I have this SIG P365 Fuse. I finally broke down and bought a SIG P365, and I'll tell you honestly, the only reason I did pick it up was because I sold some things on consignment, and I didn't find anything else I liked at the store, so I picked it up. Now, to be honest, I have been looking at it the last few times I was there. Um, you know, I never was sold on the hype of the P365 when they first came out. But a lot of people I know have been talking them up. They say they're great. Uh, but I've, let, you know, I've read a lot of things about them too, some of the downfalls. But anyhow, so the P365 fuse, this is my first one. Uh, a few things that this comes with. Uh, it does have a flared magwell right there, uh, that, which is pretty nice. It was attached. And then uh, it is optics cut. Has a standard kind of rear sight optic right there uh iron sight with the square cut but it does have fiber optic in the front if you can see that it's a green one um i will say that the serrations here in the front uh and in the back to get a grip on the slide are very deeply cut you know they're deep cuts and man i do like that i do like that and i do like this grip this grip is really nice feels really good so other than that it has a little pick rail here at the front so you can put an optic uh, I'm sorry, an optic, a light, or a laser on there, whatever you want. And uh, then it does have this kind of flat style trigger that comes standard on it. And yep, there you go. That's the basics. So, anyhow, this will be my first time even shooting one. So, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I will be shooting some, starting out, some Fiocchi 9mm ammo uh, just because I know it and I trust that it'll do good. Uh, Man, we got the wind picking up. I'm trying to get all this done before some rain comes in. But I did buy 2,000 rounds of this Scorpio 9mm, and I'll be trying some of it to see how it does. So, um, I bought a lot of rounds of it, so hopefully it fires good. So, anyhow, I just got a basic uh, cardboard target set up there in the back there. We're going to try out uh, for this thing. Uh, I will say the other thing, too, is it did come with three magazines, which was really nice. It came with a 17-round mag and two 21-round mags. Now, I will say this. Loading it by hand without the assistance of some type of loader, I could not get, you know, all the rounds in there. I got 16 in the 17, and I got 20 in the 21, just by my fingers. Urgh. And I was putting some force on that stuff. So, yeah, without a loader, and I don't know if that's something that's going to work in or if that's something that's common with all the uh, magazines for the, uh, for the SIG P365, but we'll see. We'll see. So, I did bring plenty of rounds. I got some uh, hollow points, too, I want to try on it, so... Anyhow, enough talking. We're going to get at it. So uh, i got my other camera set up down there. i tell you what, I think i got everything situated here. I am already sweating because it's so humid out. Let me wipe the sweat off my glasses there. There we go. All right, we're going to go with this 17-round mag loaded with 16 rounds first. And there we go. We're going to see how right off the... Uh, uh, we're going to see how right out of the box accurate I am with it. Here we go. <clears throat> Speaking of, this is right out of the box. The only thing I did was break it down. I put a little bit of oil on it. That's it. That's it. So, here we go. And, I know, I know, you want to see some shooting, but I'm at about 10 yards. So, all right. So, all right, if you saw that, the recovery's a little different than what I'm used to. So, uh, you know, some of those stray shots were not, me not uh, recovering properly. But as you can see, it got a lot right in the center. The first one was right on there on the X. So, uh, it looks like the recovery is going to be something I'm going to have to work on with this. Um, you know, which is common if you go you go between two different firearms one that you usually carry and then one that's brand new uh the recovery is always going to be different so this grip and everything i really like it but it is a little bit different than um what i normally carry every day so i'll have to adjust to it so no biggie no biggie uh i do like it it fires well fired every shot here uh i tell you what <clears throat> we're just gonna do a mag dump with this one 
uh, this 21 rounder with 20 rounds in it. I'm just going to shoot it as fast as I can. And I'm going to try to use the uh, slide release to load around in to see if we have a battery, uh, you know, failure to go into battery issue or something like that. So, all right, here we go. Looks good. Here we go. Magdo. <laughs> I was walking up a little bit, but it's all right, it's all right. Getting used to it. That was my first two mags ever through, a P365. I'm liking it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I like it. I do. All right. Whew. I mean, it's a little bit more pricey, but okay. I like it. But all right, let's do this bag of Scorpio. This is a 21 round mag load with 20 rounds, so hopefully these mags will wear in. That's some tough spring loading there, and I, I didn't even break out the, I have a speed loader, and I didn't break it out. It was just, I'll let them break in, so we'll see. But this is that Scorpio ammo. Like I said, it's a, it's a 115 grain full metal jacket. Yeah. If you shot this ammo, let me know what you think of it, because like I said, I bought 2,000 rounds on it, so <laughs> I hope it's good. Woo! All right, here we go. We're going to go, uh more for that upper part there and I'm not going to mag up but we're just going to go kind of at a medium pace so here we go Woo! I slammed it in the, in the slide went forward we'll have to test that uh, here in a minute so alright here we go used to this recovery but um i'm liking it uh the trigger i don't know i mean i it's it's so smooth i'm uh i don't know i feel like i'm moving my finger around on it i don't have any ridges or nothing to for placement feeling it's just that's probably one one thing that i'm not it's not really an issue but I, I, you know, i'm just concerned with it feels like my finger's moving around on there it may just be getting used to, uh, something I have to get used to. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But other than that, I'm really liking how it's handling. So, all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I got some uh, defensive rounds. We're going to load up a few of those. And then I'm going to load up another one of these 21-round uh, mags. And I want to do a slam. I want to do a, a where I slam the mag in to see if it slides forward. Because that's what it felt like it did that last one so all right uh let me get those loaded up and everything and then uh we'll keep going all right i got some mags loaded up hopefully the wind's picking up hopefully my little wind sock thing is uh helping out with uh, mic noise so anyhow so for the uh uh defense ammo i'm going to be using this norma it's the mhp right here like this i, I had 10 rounds left in that box so that's what we're going to shoot this is what looks like right there yep we'll shoot the 10 rounds through it and for the slam test i'm just using the rest of the fiocchi i had which i had 13 rounds left in that box so there we go uh we'll go ahead and do the defensive rounds first then we'll do the mag slam and see how it does so all right here we go Uh, I'm going to try to use the mag release to see if this slides in. Did just fine. Did just fine. Here we go. Got a new target up too. Woo! All right. All right. Well, at least they were all in the orange square. So, <laughs> definitely going to need to practice with this a little bit. Uh, for reco the recovery, I could feel I'm a little, I think I'm a little, I don't know if I'm just, uh, I'm late or early, one or the other. Um, but, you know, like I said, that it all depends on what you're used to shooting. And um, so this, this one's, this thing's a little bit lighter 
a little bit lighter than my normal everyday carry, so uh, it's it's got to be a little bit of adjustment there for the uh, recovery to be back in. I think I might be a little too eager on it, maybe. We'll see. All right, for the slam test, here we go. we got to slow it up with 13 rounds. I'll just slam it in. We'll see if the slide goes forward. I don't know if that's a feature. I've had guns where it's done that, and then I've had to send them back because it wasn't a feature, so we'll see. Here we go. If you know if it's a feature or not for the uh, SIG P365, let me know down in the comment section because I didn't read anything about that being a feature. So, here we go. Whew. All right. You saw it right there. Yep. Slammed it in, and it racked one. All right, let's dump it. So nice, so awesome. I like it. I do. I will say I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. I'm gonna to have to work on it, get proficient with it, but um, yep. I really can't say anything uh, other than the trigger. I don't like the super smooth. I just, uh, you know, I like being able to have a place that my finger knows is that's where that needs to be. But it's just so smooth. I really can't tell if my finger's where I want it or not. So, but. You know, it's just something you get used to. So, yep. I'm liking it. I tell you what, I got some Scorpio ammo left. I'm going to load it up and just dump. Uh, so you can watch that part if you want to. Uh, but I'll call this the end of the review. I like it. I do. Um, how does it compare to the other 365s that are out there? I don't know. <laughs> but as far as the P365 fuse... Okay, I like it. All right, maybe all the hype was worth it. So, anyhow, now I finally have one, and I'm going to start practicing with it because I do. I like it. I like it. It shoots nice. So, yep, bring it with me every time I come to the range. Throw 100 rounds through it. Get pra uh, you know proficient with it and everything. Yep, I do. I like it. All right, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Uh, and if you have a P365, which one you like? I know there's a couple different models out there. You know, if I were to buy a second one, which one would you recommend? Um, but this one, the Fuse, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So, all right. That's my video. Uh, if you watched it this far, I appreciate it. Uh, leave, you know, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the subscribe channel. It, hit the subscribe button to the channel if you're not. Uh, other than that, I'm going to load up some more mags. I'll leave that part in the video. But if you're uh, done watching, you know, this will be it of me talking. So, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.